Hey, Abstract crew. Um, it's Tim here for the, a little devotion for you. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little different because I don't have a Bible in my hand. I don't have any clear defined plan, it seems like. I'm, I'm joking. I do have a plan. Um, this devotion is going to be a little different because I'm going to do a little demonstration for you before I actually do the scripture. Um, But before I do that, let's, let me just start with a short prayer. Dear God, I just ask you for the right words to say, the right things to do. I just ask you to be with anyone who's watching this, that they get something out of this, and that uh, over the next couple minutes, it's you speaking, not me. Your will be done, not my own. Amen. Okay, so this is what we have here. We have a pile of paper towels. These paper towels represents us. And this is a rock. This represents stress. Let's say the stress of, you know, uh, you're working on your schoolwork. Uh, uh, maybe you have animals to take care of. There's another piece of stress right there. Maybe you're just stressing over little things that, you know, just seem to pile up, you know, little by little. And by little. <laughs> uh, maybe your stress is um, simply you're at home and you don't know what to do. Uh, maybe your parents or you know some relatives are stressing you out by something. Maybe they're just driving you crazy. Um, maybe you're stressing over what's going on currently in our world. Just you know. Thinking about that stuff can really stress people out. Um, maybe you're just graduating high school or college and you're stressing about what to do next or what to prepare, what can you do to prepare yourself for what comes next? Because right now we're kind of stuck, um, you know, at home and some people who just graduated may not necessarily have an idea of what to do next. Sometimes you have those big things of stress and they really get to you. Then you have the big ones. This is a brick. Really stresses you out. Gotta, sometimes when you have all that stress and suddenly a big one comes around, it's like, boom. It overpowers everything else. Sometimes you have really unique pieces of stress that, you know, it makes you have some perspective on things. Um, so here we are, you know, humans, pile of stress, we're stuck. Literally, we feel like we can't move forward. And sometimes, this is what happens. See how well I can do this. Um, let me just move this. No, no. See how this goes. I didn't practice this, so I don't know how it goes. Sometimes, as humans, in our weakness, we break. Clearly I didn't practice this. Clearly this didn't go according to plan, but you know what, that's life. It doesn't go according to plan. And the thing is, in our weakness we break, so it seems like, you know, we're at our lowest point. But here's the thing in all this, and this is the reason, this is the thing to think about in all of, you know, when you're dealing with all the stress. See, a lot of times, when we're going through stuff like this, the last thing we think about is God. We think about, what can I do to deal with this? How can I fix this? How can I get rid of this stress? But here's the thing. Underneath all of that, 
when you're going through all that stress and when you're at your weakness and you, and you break through all of that, there's God. All that time, no matter what you're going through, when you were thinking of all these different ways to deal with your stress, God was always underneath there. He was always there waiting for you to open up to him. First Corinthians 10, 13. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way that you can endure it. And in some translations, it says, uh, some, it says something along the lines of that God will allow, God will um, have a escape for you. In other words, um, well, yeah, like I said, and there's a misconception with the phrase, you know, that God will, only, will not give us more than we can handle. In truth, it's God will not tempt us with things beyond what others have been tempted is the only way of looking at it. In other words, but the other side of it is, and here's the thing to understand. God doesn't cause these bad things to happen. The stress and struggles you're dealing with, God doesn't cause those. But here's another thing to think about. That, you know, this, isn't, this is another scripture I don't know what it is, but sometimes when you're dealing with that stress, the struggles, the pain, and that pressure, it just gets to me. You come out of it much better off than before. Short, sweet, to the point. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed a little demonstration there. Um, I'm going to just do a short prayer, and that will be that. Dear God, I just thank you for allowing me to share uh, this little demonstration with whoever's watching. I just ask that, you know, um, you stay with us, uh, you remind us that uh, no matter what we're going through, no matter what struggles we're dealing with, you are there with us. Even when we don't feel you, you're there all the time. Um, I say all this in your holy name. Amen. Well, guys, I hope to see you guys at the next live youth group on YouTube, the next Zoom, whenever that is. And I especially hope to see you guys sometime in the future when we can actually meet in person for youth group. But as I don't know when Jordan will post this, I'm assuming anyways, um, if, it hasn't already happened, if it hasn't already happened before this thing has been posted, uh, keep in mind we have a uh, lot, a week, yeah, we will be meeting for an actual physical service at Gethsemane at the end of, at the end of June. And like I said, as long as this thing hasn't been posted before or after that, then it's irrelevant. Okay, guys, see you later.